To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. Madame John's legacy is celebrated as one of the finest examples of French colonial architecture in North America. Although this picturesque raised Creole cottage has had over 20 notable owners, its name comes from a purely fictional account. In 1879, New Orleans native George Washington Cable wrote Old Creole Days, a collection of short stories. In Tite Poulette, Monsieur John tells the beautiful quadroon Zali, I want to give you the house. It is for you and the little one. The name Madame John's Legacy became synonymous with this brick between post colonial home. The exterior staircase of the rear service wing leads to a typical Creole courtyard. Across the courtyard are the former brick slave quarters. In 1726, Frenchman Jean Pascal built a house on the site. His widow, Elizabeth Pascal Marin, turned the home into an inn. A subsequent owner was ship captain and reputed pirate René Belouche. In 1783, Don Manuel Gayoso y Lanzos moved in with his wife, Senora Dona, and their six daughters. The house burned in the disastrous fire of 1788, but was constructed by American Robert Jones and survived the Second Great Fire in 1794. During the late 19th century, with the arrival of Italian immigrants, Madame John's legacy was converted into apartments. In 1947, after saving the house made famous by George Washington Cable, Mrs. I. I. Lemon donated it to the Louisiana State Museum. The living quarters are now exhibit space, showcasing the intricate shapes and colors of locally made Newcomb pottery. Designated a National Historic Landmark, Madame John's legacy is an anomaly, a French colonial dwelling built during the Spanish rule of the Vieux Carré and named for a fictional 19th century character. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection. Additional support provided by the Gale and Tom Benson Charitable Foundation.